Giants player forces every fan in his stadium to pay for slavery in disgusting way with his urine several days ago. We brought you the incredibly disturbing story about the sick new version of protests that Seahawks player Michael Bennett started last weekend. Not satisfied with quietly protesting on the sideline while the national anthem plays, he's now flashing a black power salute every time he sacks a white player on the field. The very same gesture black hate groups have used for decades to proclaim their supremacy over the white race. Just when we thought things couldn't get more racist and vile, nothing could prepare fans for the unbelievable thing that New York Giants player Odell Beckham Jr. decided to do during the game between the Eagles over the weekend to display his supremacy over the white race. Every time one of these oppressed whiny millionaires takes a knee or sits on their ungrateful behinds, it's a direct slap in the face to every single person who has fought, bled, and died to defend the very same country these players so vehemently despise. These idiots continue to attempt to play the moral high ground, as they claim that their protests are a way to stand up to the oppression they constantly endure as black men living in America, as they continue to live opulent lifestyles as multimillionaire athletes. Seahawks Michael Bennett started a disgusting new trend two weeks ago where he's now flashing the black power salute on the field after he tackles a white player. Now we're starting to see this gesture being displayed more and more on the field, as these racist players are now targeting white players in addition singling out our police officers and military personnel with their vile protests. But simply flashing the black power salute wasn't quite enough for New York Giants player Odell Beckham Jr. to get his vile point across regarding his proclaimed black supremacy. Shortly after scoring an impressive toe-tap catch in the back of the end zone and flashing a black power salute to celebrate his feat, he then dropped down to all fours, where he pretended to urinate on the field like an untrained animal. When asked about the significance of the celebration, Beckham said, did it look like it? Then it might have meant something, after being flagged for unsportsmanlike conduct. Eagles coach Doug Pedersen was left in shock at what he witnessed, expressing his outrage during a day after news conference, saying that it's not something that will simply be forgotten. Eagles coach Doug Pedersen I'm really not going to comment on that, but our players see it, our fans see it. It's one of those things I think you just kind of file away in the back of your mind, and you just remember those things and you move on, he said. It's unfortunate. I have to control our guys, obviously, and every other coach has to control their players. But it's something that, you don't want to see it, obviously, in the game. It takes away from a great play that he just made. Is the NFL seriously going to allow white players to be taunted with black power salutes and peeing gestures on the field now at the hands of racist athletes? Could you imagine the backlash if white players were flashing Nazi salutes on the field every time they sacked a black player? Not only would every liberal in America be sending death threats, but the white player would automatically have his multi-million dollar contract revoked and their career destroyed overnight. The anti-American NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, had the opportunity to put an end to these protests, but instead, put the problem back on the fans during the preseason where he demanded that fans be more understanding of the protests. Now these protests have metastasized into something vile, and the NFL stands to lose billions before the end of the season is over, as empty stadiums and plummeting ratings into the double digits are spelling disaster for the NFL of things to come. But Goodell simply doesn't care about his patriotic fanbase. Not only is he refusing to decry the, the racist behavior his athletes, but he's now considering dedicating the entire month of November for the NFL to protest police officers. Similarly to how the NFL dedicates an entire month to breast cancer awareness, Bennett, along with several other protesting athletes want the entire month of November to be officially recognized by the NFLs as a month to protest America's police officers, and the, the oppression that blacks feel with living in in our country. A memo sent to the NFL demanding that they turn November into an activism awareness month to protest police in America is being led by Seattle Seahawks Michael Bennett, Philadelphia Eagles Malcolm Jenkins, Eagles Torrey Smith and former NFL player Ankin Bolden.
All these players have been very vocal with their protests all year, with Bennett swearing during preseason to continue Colin Kaepernick's protesting legacy. Seattle Seahawks Michael Bennett, Philadelphia Eagles Malcolm Jenkins, Eagles Torrey Smith and former NFL player Ankin Bolden. The NFL League has invested quite a bit of money into falsely presenting themselves as patriotic organization over the years, but it appears as though the game is finally up. NFL games have been completely hijacked by race-baiting liberals who are now using America's favorite pastime as a disgusting platform to spew their anti-American and cop-hating antics. It's absolutely disgusting that the commissioner of the NFL is choosing to side with these protesters, where his trip to Philadelphia speaks volumes that he in fact shares these players' nasty anti-cop and anti-American views.